everybody, and welcome. I'm Philip Hess, the textile manager at John Roselli and Associates in New York. And today we're doing an in-depth look behind a collaboration with Lita Austin Foster and Waterhouse Wall Hangings, represented in the John Roselli showrooms in New York, DC, and Florida. Joining us today is Lita Austin Foster of Lita Austin Foster and Associates. How are you today, Lita? I'm just great. Great. Also joining us today is Catherine Porter, the art director for Thomas Strand and Waterhouse Wall Hangings. How are you today, Catherine? Fine. Thank you. Yeah. Nice to be with you. Glad to have you here. And last but not least, the man of the hour, Lance Hout from Waterhouse Wall Hangings. How are you today, Lance? I'm doing great, Phil. Thank you for doing this and good morning to everyone. Thank you. Good Thank morning. you. So we're here today to talk about an exciting signature collection. Lita has partnered with Waterhouse to curate. Waterhouse wall hanging is available in the John Roselli and Associates showrooms in New York, DC, and Florida. We've got a lot to talk about here, so let's dive right into it. Lita, you've had an explosive year with a lot of exciting projects. And of course, the most exciting is the collaboration with Waterhouse on the wallpaper. And I think we've got some fabric coming our way too. So let's start by talking about you being recognized by House Beautiful as one of America's most trailblazing designers. That's quite the title to have. So with this collection, what was it that brought you to Waterhouse and how did you work with Catherine on curating and select this collection? Well, it's kind of a silly story, but I took a client to John Roselli because I wanted, he was a new client. He was a very important person and I wanted to impress him. I told him about the stripe that I loved. And I said, got there and, and I said, where is that stripe that I love with the little curving edge that I use and it's in my Instagram all the time. And they go, oh, we discontinued that. I go, what? We discontinued that stripe? I was so upset. And I said, you have to put it back in the line. And they did. And then Lance called me and said, well, we put it back and we renamed it Foster Stripe. And now maybe you'd like to work on a collaboration with us. And I said, yes, I would like to do that. And so met Catherine, Catherine Porter. Is a, she's like the encyclopedia of ain't antique wallpaper. So I go out to Hempstead to the, where the archives are. And Catherine showed me these drawers filled with wallpaper. So I'm back in the 1700s. It's so exciting wow. because I love history and I love decorative history. And there it was in one fell swoop for me to get in and play with and moodle around with and come up with new colors and new designs and old designs too. That's great. And behind me, I have four of your designs yes. as well as the fabric Bellagio flame stitch from Waterhouse. I have the uh, junk wheel stripe. Yes. Betsy. And look how pretty it is with Betsy Gingham. Betsy Gingham. Yeah. And then La Petite Fougere. La Petite Fougere. And then the last one. Cornflower. Cornflower. So let's talk about your color sense and how you came about developing all the colors across the board for this. Because You've created a collection, as you can see behind me, that you can mix and match and pair within your collection. I only have a small grouping of it here, but within the collection, there's a lot you can do. Now, what was the process that you and Catherine went through when developing colors? Well, the first day I probably drove her crazy because I was just going so nuts with all the relics from the past. And I kept saying, well, I want this one, and I want this one, and I want this one, and I want this one. And so we finally decided, Catherine and I, that what we would do is make up different collections that would, the first one we did was, Catherine, wasn't that where we started the century with two, 1900 and go all the way to 2000? And um, and because we wanted to have it be something different. Now we're going to have a collection that's only French. We're going to have a collection of Art Deco. In other words, we're going to try and have many, many collections. But the first one was a, a more overall view. The ones that you're seeing, like behind me, you're seeing on the wall, Le Jeu Orientaux. And Le Jeu Orientaux, you may not have it, but it's here on the wall. And I'm going to have my own Vanna White, Sarah, 
open up the fabric so you can see one of the things that Waterhouse does that is absolutely amazing is that they, because they're using the same dyes, the fabrics exactly match the wallpaper. That's very rare. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. I love the French way of having the, the design on the walls the design on the curtains, the design on the furniture, and having little odd pieces be a different fabric. But you could do that because you have this um, ability to print exactly the same on wallpaper and fabric. And you can't see this, but the fabric feels wonderful. It's a true cotton. It's a very smooth twill. It's a yeah. beautiful hand, light, soft. It's a lovely, it's actually a very Feel finely it. woven twill. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. feels really good so if you were sitting on it like on furniture you would be happy to be on it as you can see in the background I did it in yellows and yellow curtains everything um because I'm very Scots and I had those beautiful curtains and I thought I'm going to choose a wallpaper that looks good with them and that's something I think good decorators should guide their clients toward is how to use wallpaper with existing possessions so that you can do something wonderful and change it, but you didn't change your entire life. Well, maybe you did. Good job, Lance. Thank really you. Wallpaper Thank you. I mean, Thank you. is really one-stop shopping. Catherine, I think you have uh, a couple of the colors on Betsy Gingham. Yes. That we can I do show the breadth yeah. of what Lita's been working on. Aren't they wonderful? Now that was something we came up with that was not in the archives, but we needed it. We needed something like that because I was working on this very exciting job, and and we got into um, the, the the rooms that were up under the up under the roof, and they had all these amazing angles and things like that. So I thought if I could have a paper that I could use overall. And so I wanted a wallpaper that could start below and go all the way up the ceiling without making the person feel like they were in a cage. And Betsy Gingham was great for that. And if you look behind your head, Philip, that's Jonquil Stripe. That would be such a fun room if you had a, a panels of, you'd have outside the panels, you put molding up of panels and outside the panels would be Betsy Gingham. And then inside the panels would be Jonquil Stripe. That would be a fabulous room and then you could use the fabric of them of jungle stripe on the furniture in the room you could have a wonderful loggia that way or a, a sun porch or something like that that would be casual but dressy i love jungle stripe we're going to use it in the yellow a uh, catherine has the yellow betsy gingham and the yellow jungle stripe so we're going to use right. that yellow betsy gingham for mm -hmm. naples tables in the um in march and the tablecloth will be made of the jungle stripe and the chair covers will be made of Betsy Gingham. And then of course, we'll be using my china and stuff like that on the table and a beautiful arrangement of daffodils. Can I just add in for a minute, Philip, sure. how much fun it was to work with Lita in New York, going through the archives because it is exhausting. <laughs> of Antique documents, <laughs> every time I go to New York, I never tire of looking at it, but mm -hmm. Lita was, had so much energy. She was tireless all day long for several days. Mm -hmm. And you just, your mind gets a little, your eyes are overloaded, but she knows immediately what she likes, what she relates to. And she knows what colors she wants it in the minute she sees it. I couldn't write fast enough. You know, you know, she would rattle off the colors that her vision of these certain designs and um, it's true. We have two or three other collections waiting in the wings. Oh yes, to be <laughs> but we were kept. Out. We were kept sustenance by Lance, a true New Yorker. A stop before we would ever even get to the archive room and got bagels and coffee, and that's what we lived on. We lit late <laughs> day like a true New Yorker. He'd get Chinese food, but we went on bagels and coffee for hours. But we didn't get tired. Catherine and I worked away, and Lance was over in the corner like an evil genius typing away on something. It was fun. We had fun. It was, it was fun. Good. Thank you so much for sharing all this information and insight. Next part I want to talk about and hear about is I know that Waterhouse has an amazing ability to do custom colors on pretty much all their designs. And I know, Lita, you've worked with them on some of the existing and custom coloring. And one of them is a new chinoiserie panel. Look at the magic behind me. Well, now what's important about this is that unless you went up 
and put your hand on it with your cheek right next to it. You cannot tell that that is not a hand-painted chinoiserie. It's so amazing. And the decorator coming in said, could say, oh, I love this. I really love it, but I want it on pink. And two panels and it goes around the room. And the beauty of it is that I could say, if I were doing, if I owned a hotel, say a beautiful old hotel up in Rhode Island or something, and I wanted to have this in my lobby or my dining room, I would love that, but I wouldn't want it to be destroyed by the people who use it. Well, so what? Because it's not like it's the Chinese paper that each, each panel is $2,000. It's not. And I could keep doing it and I could replace it. Look at this pink. Isn't that beautiful? Now there it goes. Oh, there's the green. And drop it the there is the blue. And then, but a decorator could say, well, I really wanted that in pale, pale aqua. No sooner said than done. Catherine and Lance's job to make sure that that pale, 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 pale aqua comes up. And the beauty of it is they don't have to change the, the design to do that. So according to Lance, we can have that in under a month. We have wonderful yes. paper that you could have in under a month. That's amazing, Lance. That's something that in the Roselli showrooms we're really promoting. There's such a trend out there right now with people wanting customization on color that they'll love a design, but it might not be exactly where they need it to be. And we direct them right to you. And it's a seamless process, which we thank you very much for. In the movie, uh, Get Shorty. Um, <laughs> and so in it, Danny DeVito is in a scene. He's a projectional character and goes, never order off the menu. Always order something that's not on the menu. And I think about that with <laughs> wallpapers because the daughter, Sally, whom I work with all the time, Sally does not order off the menu. Betsy Gingham that we're using in the light blue. She said, I just want to change it to have a teensy bit of gray in it. So done. But I just think it's so funny that we have we can offer that. We can be, get shortly. So this is very cool. All this that you're giving us. So what's next on the agenda for Waterhouse and Lita? Well, as we said, we have other collections, but we have, you've only seen a teensy piece of the, of this collection, we have this what? wonderful um, warp print. Look at this. Do you have this one in your group? Because this is one. I don't have that one. Isn't I that did cool? have a small piece. Lance has that. So that's that's a narrow because it's taken paper. from a really old archive. Um, we did a beautiful house in Richmond one time where we used everything from Monet in Paris, Yeah, which was not a problem for most of the things but one of the ones that the client really loved was only 21 inches wide for both the fabric and the wallpaper. So we had to keep making so much of it. So that one is also from an antique, um, you know, relic. So it's narrow, but it's beautiful to do. And it's going to be available in, am I right, Lance, in both um, fabric and in wallpaper, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Catherine striking off and finalizing the colors with your input now. That's a beautiful hall, beautiful stair hall. And then... Big, beautiful, chunky brown Spanish chairs with that warp print on the back. That would be so beautiful. I see rooms when I see the water, the wallpapers at Waterhouse. The rooms just pop into my mind. I'm dying to do a bedroom with the green wallpaper that's behind your head with a beautiful oh, canopy bed. Um, Lita, is it all right if I mention a couple of the collections that we have in mind? Yes. Set aside patterns, which Lita is wants to call the summer house which mm -hmm. is so lovely, just fresh, you know, spring, summertime kind of patterns. And we have the Jazz Age, which are sort of 1920s cabaret style um, patterns. And Lita wants to work on more um, children's, children's I patterns. Do. I do. And for example, the Thomas Strawn um, Alice in Wonderland, uh, we're working on a twall version of that so it, we're changing the drawing on it so the one right now is very multicolor. so we're 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 working those are some of our ideas that are in the wings that's beautiful this has been amazing thank you so much to all of you for taking time out of your busy schedule to meet with us lita thank you for all that you've offered us and we're yeah. so excited lance and Catherine to have this collection in three of the Rizzoli showrooms, again, in our New York showroom. 
our DC showroom and our Florida showroom available through John Roselli and Associates. I know this is silly for me to constantly think in terms of hotels, but when you have a paper that comes up in so many different colors, you think about a place where you might be doing rooms that were similar so that you would have like 25 bedrooms of pink, 25 bedrooms of blue, 25, but they would all, you know, different floors could be different colors or something. I just love the idea that there's so many beautiful colors in each of these designs. This is cornflower. Now that's the gray one, which is very sophisticated. And it would make a wonderful dining room in addition to a bedroom. That one's beautiful. Very elegant. Yes. And I was thinking that if you had that as your dining room with a white dado below and lovely curtains of a good hunky um, white damask, and then you could have 18th century green dining chairs with a beautiful, beautiful gray silk plaid on them. I mean, I can just see a room like that. It just, Waterhouse wall hangings makes you think of rooms. I really love the papers. I love working with them. That's great. And the fabrics. And the fabrics, yes. And now we have paper and fabrics. It's a mm -hmm. brilliant collection. Very excited to have be a part of it, here in, having it here in the John Roselli showrooms. New York, DC, and Florida all have Waterhouse wall hangings, which has the Lita Austin Foster collection as part of it, both in fabrics and in wallpaper. Very exciting. Everybody thank again, thank you so much for your time today. Have a great rest of your day and everybody that tuned in to watch this. I hope you found it as insightful and exciting as I did and I think the rest of the panel did. Thanks so much. Thank you, Philip. Thank you, Philip. All right. And thank you, Philip. And thank you, Catherine and Lance for making it possible. And thank you, Lita, most of all. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.